We're gonna need that. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Uh, the snow chains came off and got wrapped around the axle. We just got to the first off-road spot. It's kind of like a um, an undeveloped, uh, what is it, like residential area. So we're on like a legit street right now. And um, sorry, it's a little overexposed. What the hell? Jesus. And uh, there's where where the hell's the path? This is a trail right here. Oh, uh, you can see just normal road trail. Then that, yeah, you can go down this way. I just wanted to go down that. I've been up it with my uh, factory tires, so I'm pretty confident uh, you could do it. I don't yeah, even think I was in full wheel. I'm just so long. Yeah, yeah, so I, I don't think you'd bottom out on this, though. I ain't been right. You see a bunch of trails all up in here. Big, like, water mud pit. It rained uh, pretty recently, so I don't know. Not too much mud, but definitely a little wet. Could be bad. Yeah. So last time I was here, I got stuck super bad. I was just like in mud to the frame rails and we had to call like a bunch of people to try and come out and get me and it took like two hours to get me or finally get someone out to this spot to come and get me out and it wasn't too fun. But I was also factory suspension, factory tires and I don't even have like the factory good tires. I have that like all terrain, so pretty trash. But now I'm here with you know, my four inch long arm lift kit and the uh, 35, so I should be doing all right. I'll try and get some outside shots for you. It is a little hot, so we're enjoying the AC inside the car, but I'll have, I'll, I'll make Dean, who is actually in town from San Diego, I'll make him stand outside and get some clips of us. Good. Yeah. That was fairly easy. Yep. Yeah. You should have taken the fenders off. I want to, but then my bumpers would still be like sticking out so I'm waiting I, I got some plans I want to but I, then again I want to be able to put it back to factory if I ever sell it That's true. but like otherwise I would just cut it there because some people do like they shorten them yeah, oh yeah. but I don't like that I'd rather just cut it right there yeah. and then actually I think I think rough country makes like these things that go on there and you can like rivet them on so it makes it look cleaner might get those or might make them who knows Easy. You dragged a little bit. <laughs> yeah, that's normal. Fail trail. All right, well, let's see what else we can get into. Just don't be too hard on the brake. The view from in here isn't as great just because the nose was Holy up. Holy shit, look at all the water. Yeah, I know. That's insane. Yeah, it's, all gonna, down down too. it's all gonna run. Damn, all that water? <laughs> That's nuts. It's like I displaced all of it. Right, you just moved it all. So like I said last time we were here, I got super stuck and this is the same uh, thing that I got stuck in. And I'm gonna go ahead and try and see if I can do it. Last time my pumpkins were just dug in there i was on the frame rails there's just no way i was getting out and uh we'll see how i do it with the All lift right. and the mud tires now 
Uh, it stopped recording, so I'm gonna redo that. Okay. Well, I uh, tried and attempted the one obstacle that I wasn't able to get to last time I was here, uh, the place that I got like super stuck. Uh, I just tried it. I got myself out of it, but I wasn't able to make it all the way through. But of course, we forgot to film it. Or we, the, the camera just wasn't recording for some reason. Uh, so I think I'm gonna try it again. I'm just gonna blast through it this time and see if I make it. Yeah. But it, it gets really deep. Those ruts are insane. No, yeah, that's insane. what I was saying. It gets super deep. So anyways, that's it right there. And I'm sure you'll see. All right. Should be recording. Oh, uh, it's definitely recording. Hammer down. Holy shit. Huh? What should I do? Yeah, the water. What I would do is I'd go back a little bit and see if you can go backwards. Go backwards? Yeah. So, slam it in reverse? Well, you don't have to slam it in reverse. I can agree with that. I think there's a like a hill right there. Yeah. Yeah, you're just digging. I just back out of it. I can't. Yeah, you can. I'll do my, should I just go straight? Yeah. Oh. Where do you want me to put the Vic? I'll put it up there. And I'll pull you out, but um, yeah. where do you want? Do you want the camera? Uh, no, we'll get. Well, I'll have Dean uh, film. Okay. Us. Uh, can Dean get out? Yeah. Good. Frame damage. I don't think, I think this is probably the muddiest it's ever been, as I nearly eat shit, but good shit. That was fun. Absolutely caked. I don't know, but I felt something hit my hat. Oh, yeah, there's something on your hat. That was it. Jerry's got to take a picture for the gram. Go ahead and follow him at lifted underscore sheriff. I'll put his Instagram in the description. Go ahead and check his page out. Super cool. Of course, he's got the lifted Vic and he's got some other projects as well. Uh, last thing before we get out of this trail, we're going to hit that really steep uh, little hill right there. And then we're going to dip out of here. And I think we're pretty much done. We pretty much hit everything that this trail has to offer. So home, then food, 
and then maybe this other spot that we're gonna go to. Not sure yet. I just wanted to show the window. So bad. So we just got the firehouse subs, and I actually, there's the subscriber's car here. He's the one who gave me the factory intake from his NB to put in my off-road Miata. And I'm gonna see if he's in there. He might be in any one of these stores, I'm not sure. But that's pretty cool. I'm not sure what his Instagram is, otherwise I plug it, but yeah, that's actually pretty awesome. He has like the coolest exhaust system for a Miata. It's like a three inch all the way back, plus headers, and like it's just super, super clean Miata overall. Next stop is to go to a car wash. I'm gonna run it through the touchless and then we're gonna have to spray it down and get all the mud off all these parts. Got to the car wash. What I try and do is I try and go through this thing and uh, get all of the mud like wet and kind of just that way it's easier to take off. And then I go through the uh, bay, I get, I get in the bay and then I use the pressure washer and pressure wash as much as I can and I get under the car a lot more. As you can see, it's uh, definitely a tongue cleaner. All the stuff inside here is all still super muddy. And uh, this side, pretty decent. You saw it, it was absolutely caked on, but stuff like the mirror, still, I would not be able to see through that. So now we're gonna go ahead and really get this thing clean. Well, we got back home, camera battery of course died, and uh, it was like another like 30 minutes of trying to clean all the crap out from under this thing. Of course, it's not perfect, but it's sure as hell a lot better. Uh, as you can see, I still have a bunch of mud and stuff on my driveway, and uh, my landlord isn't exactly a fan of that. Anyways guys, I think that's going to end up being it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed today's video, and peace out.